About this question, this is our normal distribution with mean mu and our standard deviation sigma. It's given that the percentage of chickens are being lighter than this amount and it's the same as larger than this amount. So uh, this sentence, they say the left hand side and right hand side basically are the same. So only one uh, possibility is uh, it should be symmetric. This area and this area are the same. And the boundary is 1.83 and 3.43. So, which implies that the width here also the same. Uh, the SD score set uh, values are the same. Uh, just the sign are different. So, uh, this is very important thing is still point uh, another thing is 0 0.8904 A904 is the middle part area which means each part is 8904 divided by 2 so uh, very easy to get the mu because they say left hand side and right hand side the same so the midpoint is just simply the mean because uh, it's symmetric it's easy to get mu, then you just simply say it is uh, 1.83 plus 3.43 divided by 2. Uh, sometimes if left hand side is uh, smaller or bigger, then you can't use this method. It's just because they say that uh, left hand side area and right hand side area are the same. So 1.83 plus 2.43. A C uh, divided by 2 so it is 2.63 the midpoint is 2.63 and after that uh, they say find sigma we have the mean then it's much e uh, it's really easy for us to get the sigma given uh, let our weights be x and then it's la uh, smaller than speed Okay, so x between 1.83 and 3.43 is equal to 0 0.8904. So uh, because we want you to use the standard, di uh, standard normal distribution table, that's why we want to divide by 2. We're interested in this one. So p0, uh, 2.63. From 2.63 to... 3.43 is equal to 0 0.8904 divided by 2. 8904 divided by 2. 0 0.4452. Uh, uh, at the same time, we change x to uh, c, standard score. So this is 3.43 minus 2.63 divided by the sigma we don't know yet. So after this, uh, with this one, by using the table, then we can transform it. We are searching which area will give us exactly 0 0.4452. So we search here. 0 0.4452 is when sigma, the standard score is 1.60. So when the standard score is equal to 1.6, uh, that means 0 0.8 divided by sigma. This is the standard score. Uh, don't forget the transformation between the probability equation to the standard score calculation. So, and check this is in right hand side, so it should be positive value. So sigma is equal to 0 0.5. Uh, we finish part A, then we continue part B. If nine chickens are selected randomly from the farm, uh, find the probability that the mean of their weight between this amount. So, uh, very important thing is you identify. We are talking about the weight or the mean of weight. Now we are talking about the mean of their weight. So, what we interested is not the weight of each chicken. Uh, this is the weight of each chicken, 6, 3, and then 0 0.5 squared. What we are interested is when we choose nine chickens. So when the sample size is equal to nine, we are interested in x bar instead of x. 
So the mean SD uh, it should be divided by I mean the variance should be the same variance divided by the sample size. So x bar is zero point six three, and then this is one over six square. So the required probability. is when x bar between 2.5 and 3.1 so we change it to standard score first divide by standard deviation 1 over 6 here So we are asking for this situation. Uh, this is 2.82, the standard score 2.82, and this is uh, a little bit closer to our mean, 0 0.78, we are talking about C here. Uh, so we want to know this area together with this area. That is 0 0.78 and then between C to 0. We need to separate it so that we can use the table. Zero point seven eight. Zero point two eight two three. Two point eight two. Two point eight two. 2.4976 So we just add them together Then we got the answer is 0.7799 It's finished